Hey everybody, how's it going? Austin Prechtel, Prechtel Elevate Performance, coming at you live. It's Wednesday, tomorrow is check-in day, and yeah, it's been a good day so far. Um, today, uh, I'm going to be talking about the benefits of online coaching, the benefits of having an online coach. I know that as of lately, a lot of people are, um, you know, they've been reaching out to me, um, which has been nice, very nice. Um, people have been reaching out to me, um, planning on getting started for how, like, you know, some people are trying to get started before the holiday rush, before the New Year's rush. Um, even, you know, the people that are going to be planning on starting at New Year's, um, you know, been reaching out to me, um, been chatting with them and things like that. And I know a lot of people are right now kind of in the process of, you know, thinking about hiring um, coaches. And so um, just wanted to talk a little bit about you know, the benefits of it and, and why I think that, um, you know, I don't know why I like online training in general, online coaching in general, why I think that it's a really good solution to a lot of people's um, needs. And so, you know, just to preface before I get into this, uh, the reason why I picked this topic today is because I had a phone call with a really, really nice um, woman. I was just talking on the phone with her um, about potentially working together. Um, and we ended up having a chat about things and somehow it had been miscommunicated probably on my end, uh, that I was online and that I, uh, do only online, uh, coaching. Uh, and that was, uh, you know, I guess off putting or not, you know, what she was expecting necessarily. And so, um, we kind of ended it at that. And I want to talk a little bit about that because it had me, it got me thinking and it had me wondering, you know, like why, you know, other than it being kind of a surprise, would that dissuade somebody from wanting to work with a coach just because they're online? Um, especially during these times, especially during, you know, quarantine and COVID and, um, you know, a lot of gyms being shut down and everything. They just weren't in that state in particular that she was from, but, you know, that's kind of besides the point. Um, so it had me thinking, I was like, well, I want to talk about this because I think it's important um, that people kind of, you know, realize the benefits of this and realize like, you know, you, it's just because it's online uh, doesn't mean it's any less personable and doesn't mean it's any less, uh, you know, impactful, clearly. I mean, I've helped a lot of people out. And yeah, I just want to talk a little bit about that. And I, some of the benefits that, you know, and my thoughts on why I think, and it's definitely going to be a continuing trend um, in terms of, you know, it getting more and more popular. It just is. Um, like, I've seen numbers like 8 to 10% increase in the next like five to 10 years. Online training, online coaching, online, everything is going to be shifting more and more to be online. And so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna talk a little bit about that. And before I jump into that though, uh, just a little bit of a, I guess, sneak preview for those of you who are watching this right now, um, or watching this at a later time, I am planning on doing a, I don't have a name for it yet specifically, but it's going to be kind of along the lines of like a, uh, however many days to fitness, uh, like kind of challenge. So stay tuned for that. I'm going to be announcing that here in the next week or so. So it's going to be fun. I think people are going to enjoy it. Uh, it's going to be a good time. Good way to get yourself, uh, you know, into a, I guess, positive momentum. So that being said, let's jump into this. So I want to talk a little bit about why I think online coaching is awesome. And um, that's not to say that I think in-person training is bad or anything like that. Like, I, I, I think it has its place. Um, but I think that um, online coaching in and of itself has some advantages. And so, um, honestly, the one of the biggest ones is it's, even though it's not in person, it is a lot more personable, a lot more like, uh, I don't know, like, uh, you get to know your clients a lot better than what you would, you know, just stopping in a gym once or twice, or maybe three times a week, if you can afford that to talk to your like coach or whatever, or your, you know, your personal trainer for like 30 to 60 minutes. Um, you know, you don't get to, you know, probably talk to them other than the time that you're there at the gym with them working out kind of thing. And a lot of that time that you're talking to them and they're talking to you, you know, you're probably just more or less talking about, you know, how your day went or you're talking about like, you know, the workouts that you're actually doing in those moments and things like that. And that's not to say that that's a bad thing. It's just to say that, you know, it's not very personable and it's not necessarily like very like, um, you know, 
intimate, I guess you don't, you, there's, there's not that you don't really get to know the people and you don't get to really know them or their mindset or how their mindset kind of works. They're just there to get their workouts in and like rarely do, do like, you know, gyms give you like a nutrition plan to follow. And if they do, it's kind of like some cookie cutter stuff that you don't necessarily, um, they don't really hold you accountable to sort of thing. And so, so I, th that's kind of getting off the track a little bit, but, but the main point is, is like, where's the like relationship? Like, where is the coach client relationship at? Like, there's a huge difference between like a coach at like a big commercial gym and like actually having a coach slash mentor slash somebody who is there. Um, and I feel like a lot of that is lost whenever you get to a lot of these like big commercial gyms um, that have trainers and things like that. Like, I'm here, I'm going to tell you right now, like, I freaking love like talking to like my clients on a daily basis. Like I talk to them every day, pretty much uh, Monday through Friday, especially like, like I get to know my clients, like some of them, you know, after they, you know, get done eventually and graduate from my program or whatever, like I definitely can see myself being like good friends with a lot of my clients because they are like really awesome people. And I've gotten to know them in a personal way because the, the, like the fact that I can like actually like, be there for them on a daily basis and get to know them and get to know their mindsets and get to know like, cause honestly, like knowing somebody's mindset and knowing how somebody thinks or is going to react to something or what they're struggling with, like up here is going to make it way easier when it comes to solving the puzzle that they are um, in order to get them to reach their goals. Um, it's just one of those things where it's, it's, it, that's just how it is. And so like, I love the fact that I'm online because I get to know my clients really well. I get to know what they're struggling with. I get to talk to them on a daily basis. I get to know like, you know, random stuff about them that I think is really important to know that, you know, may seem like an insignificant like factor or something like that. But, you know, I can use some of that stuff to help them out in 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 so many in so many ways that it's not even funny. Like and so like I I really like that about being online cuz you think it would be less personal less personal but I, I would argue that it's way more personal because i actually am able to like you know i can actually like get to know them <laughs> and so so that so that's what i would say um so, so that's one of the big benefits is just like like it's 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 a lot more intimate than you think it's a lot more personable like there's a reason why like i mean i talk to my clients every day like 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 I, you know and so I, I really like that about that and i think that that's something that can can get lost um whenever it comes to just meeting up with your trainer for like 30 minutes a couple times a week um and so yeah so there's that and then the other thing too is just like 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 you know money <laughs> everybody likes to talk about like money and things like that or nobody likes to talk about money and so you know when it comes to like like pricing and things like that like you're like doing it online like i can help a lot more people and it can be a lot more affordable than like big commercial gyms like that's just the fact of the matter i don't have to pay like giant amounts of like freaking overhead for a building i don't have to do that if i'm like you know a small private like trainer or whatever i don't have to, i don't have a big thing of overhead that i have to like do and i'm not you know having to pay a giant amount of commission to that gym basically like you know because a lot of personal trainers that you end up hiring like the gym gets like you know 50 60 70 percent of whatever you're actually paying and you know for me like every you know every bit of that goes towards my family and you know me like it does like it's just or into the business or whatever and so it's, it's one of those things where it's like you know that's kind of lost it's like i'm literally about as small business as small business can get right like um and and so i think some of that also gets lost and that's something that i really like is like you know i i'm somebody that thinks that you know at least to some in within in within reason and some capacity like fitness and this stuff and nutrition it, in one form or another should be affordable for everybody. Um, and that's, you know, part of, you know, my mission with what I'm doing with this is trying to make this, you know, cause I, so fun fact, like, you know, I come from a really small town in Farmersburg, Indiana. Um, nobody knows what the fuck that is. And everybody probably is just like thinking who isn't from there right now is like, Oh, like, is that, is that true? Like, is that like even a real place? It is. It's a real place. It's very small. Um, but I come from a place there and the county that I am from is called Sullivan County. And the that county in particular, um, I don't know what the most recent stats are, but when I was living there, um, in terms of like annual income, it is the, I believe it is the poorest county in the entire state of Indiana. One of the poorest like counties in the entire state of Indiana. 
everybody's freaking poor from there. Everybody is, like, for the most part. And it sucks because, like, it wreaks havoc on the community. And, like, everybody is, you know, like, un like not everybody, but a lot of people from there are very, like, overweight. And a lot of that has to do with their, like, you know, um, like, I guess – uh, living like situation and, and, and like a lot of that has to do with like the amount of money that they make every year. And if you're like poor, you're going to be more likely to not have the ability to become educated on some of these things um, that I think are really important to living like a healthy life. Like you don't have to, I, I don't think you should have to make a lot of money or be rich to, you know, have a rich life um, that's fulfilling. And so that's something that I personally really care about is trying to make it, you know, affordable for, um, you know, the folks out there that, you know, feel like they're stuck and are in a, like a rough place and things like that. And so I really try to like work with people on that kind of stuff. And so, um, that's the other side. That's, that's, that's the other thing. Like, I really care about that. And so, um, that's something I can kind of take pride in and being able to try and help people in like, you know, poor communities, like the one that I came from. I had a pretty, I had a pretty great upbringing, um, in the community that I lived in, but you know, like not a lot of people are as lucky as I am. And so, you know, taking time to realize that that's, you know, a real thing. Um, you know, that's something that I really want to try and, you know, help a lot of people with. And so, yeah, so that's, so that's the other thing too, um, you know, affordability. Um, and then the last thing just kind of, you know, talk about is just like the, the, you know, I can help a lot more people, uh, that online than I can help people in person. Like, like I just, that's just a fact. Like I'm able to take a lot more time and, or, and put it towards helping my clients. Like, and I can help a lot more clients that way too, because I'm not, you know, stuck in this like weird system of like nine to five working like 12 hours a day in like a, in, in a gym, um, like helping like one person for a half hour at a time kind of shit. And it's just like, it's like, I, that's just, that's, that's just, that's just like, it's a huge time constraint if you're doing it in person at like, at like a gym like that. And so, you know, my mission is to help as many people as possible to the best of my ability. And if I want to do that, it just makes sense to be online. Um, and so that's, that's another reason why I, I think that it's um, not inherently superior to, you know, like in-person training, but I think it is something that is, is an advantage that can, you know, that people don't realize sometimes. Um, so yeah, I can just help a lot more people, which makes me feel good. makes them feel good. It makes everybody feel good. Like the more people that can be, you know, educated on these things and, you know, reach their fitness goals, the better, like, right. Like that makes sense. Um, and so, so yeah. And then right now, especially like COVID quarantine, like freaking, um, all that stuff going on right now. Like it's nice to not have to meet at places. Like it just is, that's something that can, that can help a lot of people out who might be worried about those things or who are immunocompromised or whatever that may be. You can work out from home. You know, that's something that I can do that I do for a lot of my clients. I make at home workout programs for them. I make, you know, if they want to work out at a gym, I make them a, you know, gym workout program. Like it's all customized to them as individuals. And so, you know, I like that aspect of it too. And it can be something that's convenient for people, the convenience factor, you know? And so, yeah, that's why I think, and that's why I really enjoy you know, online training, online coaching. That's why I think that it does have its, it for sure has its advantages. Um, and I don't think that, um, you know, I, I don't think that it's something that, you know, you should disregard or be surprised by if it continues to, you know, improve and, 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 and increase over time. Um, it's, it's definitely going to have its, it has its space right now and it's only going to get bigger in the future. So, it's one of those things you can kind of embrace it or, or, or don't. And that's totally fine. And that's totally up to you. Um, I'm just here to tell you about why I think it's awesome and why I think that, you know, it's definitely like an option for people, um, you know, going forward from here. Um, and yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty freaking, you know, stoked about how things are going in the future. And I'm, if you're somebody who's interested about it and wants to know more info about all, like how it works, like just send me a message. Like, I'll tell you about it. Like, I'm fine with that. I, I want, to, you know, I want you to realize that, you know, you have options out there um, and that you might not even realize. Um, and not to say that, you know, who I spoke to earlier um, was wrong for, you know, being surprised or not wanting to move forward or whatever. Like, that's totally fine. Like, if that's something that you're like, I just don't want to work with somebody online. Like, that's fine. That's your choice. Like, go for it. Like, like, I just know that I'm, I'm really good at what I do and I'm going to keep doing what I'm really good at for those that, you know, want to embrace it. So, um, 
yeah, that's my live for today. Um, and I, you know, just want to say that I appreciate everybody who's tuning in right now, everybody who's, you know, commenting and everything like that. And I, um, you know, hope to be able to continue to help you out and provide information and continue to just, I don't know, be a, a positive light, I guess, in your day to day. Because uh, that's this, this is what makes me happy. Helping people makes me happy. And, you know, trying to show people that their goals are possible and that they can be achieved is, is something that like, you know, brings me a lot of joy. So um, other than that, that's my life for today. I'm going to talk to you guys later. I, you know, if you, like I said, if you have any questions about anything that I just talked about, like feel free to send me a message. I'll be happy to tell you more about it. And um, yeah, stay tuned for the fitness challenge that is going to be coming up here in the nearish future. It should be good. If you got value from this, let me know. Give it a like. Drop some fun emojis, whatever you want to do. Let me know what your number one takeaway was in the comments down below. If you got value from this, if you feel like somebody else can get value from this, tag them in the comments. Share the video. You never know who you're going to help. You never know whose life you could change um, by doing that sort of thing. Um, I There's been a couple of people who have shared my videos, and then people have reached out to me, and then I've been able to like you know work with them, and they're like way better off than what they were before in terms of like, you know, feeling like their goals are attainable and things like that. And that's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> so, uh, the power of online, the power of, uh, social media, it's pretty cool. Um, so other than that though, I'm gonna talk to you guys later. Stay tuned for tomorrow and have a great rest of your Wednesday. See you everybody.